Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a sale that will be going on with Gerard Cosmetics on the 1st of February, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And I also have a palette to share with you guys that could be a possible, maybe dupe to the Huda Beauty Nudes palette. I don't know, we shall see. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, I want to share with you guys a sale that's going to be going on with Gerard Cosmetics. Um, they're actually having a sale that starts on February 1st at 9 a.m. Pacific time. That would actually be um, 12 uh, Eastern, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then it ends on the 4th, February 4th at midnight Pacific time, which would be about 3 in the morning uh, Eastern Standard Time. So uh, what it is, what it is, is it's their biggest sale of the year. It's a Super Bowl sale. They have, it's a sale that they have on Super Bowl, the whole Super Bowl weekend. It's 53% off site-wide. Everything is 53% off. And also you get free shipping if you spend over $29. That includes international. So it's not just USA, it's also international. So you will get free shipping if you spend over $29. I'm super excited because I have not tried any of drawer cosmetics as of yet, but I'm going to get a couple of things and I will be sharing them with you guys when I get them and, ever, and when I get them. Uh, I know the liquid lipsticks are raved over, the, lip, the uh, lipsticks in general themselves. Um, the star powders, I believe, which I've been eyeing some of those for quite a while. And I love the names because like, well, for instance, for instance, there's Lucy back there. They have one called Lucy. Um, they have uh, Grace and just names of so many iconic women, classic iconic women. I love that. And also, I've been really getting to know uh, Jen herself, Jen Gerard. She is the CEO of the company, and she has just been a delight to get to know. And I think this is going to be some fun to try to get familiar with the company myself. I'll put a link down below to the site if you guys are interested. I will also put a link down below um, to a uh, Facebook page that a whole, about, a whole bunch of us are um, in, and we're you know connecting. Um, it's pretty much women and men of all ages, but it, it is um, a majority of, um, I believe, 35 and over, which is nice because, you know, us mature women and men, we love makeup and the beauty industry also, and it's just nice to be included. So, and you can see some videos from uh, Jen herself. Uh, she'll do some get ready with me's and just share some of her products, but also other brands. You know, she she tries other brands out there too. And it's fun because, you know, she's introducing some new companies and brands. All right. So I have all details down below if you guys are interested. All right. So the next part of this video is I do not have the Huda Beauty Nudes palette. I try to say that real cautiously because that's a tricky one to say. I mean, I hear so many people when I even say it, I want to say Huda Booty. And I know I've heard many other people say that it slips right out. It, I've done it myself. Guilty as charged. So um, anyway, I've wanted some of her palettes. I have not tried any of her eyeshadow palettes. Um, I do have a couple other ones that were kind of possible dupes. I would say they seem more compared to, I don't know. See, I don't have the palettes, so I really can't spot on say it's a dupe. I'm just saying it's a possible dupe because this palette here, when I saw it, yes, like the colors in it look really similar, very close to the palette itself. And you guys are sitting there, come on, Lori, just show the palette already. So here it is here. It is called the uh, Aromas. I think Aromas is what you want to say. The company is called You Can Be. I'm not sure how, okay, there you go. You Can Be is the name of the company. I have seen some of their palettes on Amazon. I have not tried anything from this company at all. But as you can see, the casing itself almost would remind you of what her palettes look like. 
because uh, a lot of them do have like maybe she's on there, her eyes or anything, you know, so just the display itself almost reminds me of uh, how some of our palettes are. The ingredients are on the back, so if anybody was interested in knowing about ingredients or anything like that, it is, they are listed on the back. Um, it does have uh, made in the PRC, which that's the um, public of uh, public of China. Most of y'all know that. It does have the cruelty-free bunny. I'm not sure because we know the rules and the laws in China. So I'll leave that up to you guys, you know, like whoever wants to um, take the dip or not, you know, because I know a lot of people are, it's really important for the cruelty-free part. And um, the little bunny is on there, but we know the laws in China. So it's, it's a very touchy place to set, or it's a very touchy subject to talk about. Um, it does have the shelf life on here too, like 12 uh, months. So, and it's real good um, packaging. Uh, Bad Habit does a lot of these that I really enjoy. So this is, like I said, a different company for me. It does have a mirror. So if you needed a mirror, it does have a mirror. And so... Here you go, guys. There's the palette right there, the colors. Now, the only thing I would say that would, the only thing I would say that this, it would make it not a dupe is this over here is a shadow. It's not, it is not the eye base that's in the, originally in the palette. This is a eyeshadow. I'm fine with that because I'm not, both, I have eye base for, you know, a lot of different variations of eye base so I'm fine with that and I actually I actually like the extra eyeshadow in there anyway I kind of prefer that so I'm gonna play around with this I'm only gonna do one eye on here to save time so I'm only gonna do one eye and then I'll just come back later with the rest of my makeup I'll have all the links of what I'm wearing down below as, as I've been doing lately but I'm just gonna do on one side of the eye and there is no names on these so if you want to know a name, unfortunately, there is no name. But man, when I saw this, I thought this looks like it could be a possible dupe. I guess the only thing you couldn't quite technically say it's a dupe just because of maybe the eye base. I don't know. I mean, if you want to be pretty technical about it, I guess. So, all right, well, let's get started into this. Hoping my kitty's not coming. And... I'm just going to start with this very light shade that's up here in the corner and I'm going to work that a little bit extra for a base. I already have eye primer on but I'm going to work it from the um, crease up to the brow. So um, I will, if you would like, I will have swatches at the end if you want to stick around. Ooh, that's, that's pigment, pigmented there already. It's covering very nicely. I'll tell you what, I was getting frustrated because my computer, I've been having some technical problems and it's driving me bonkers. And then I found out a lot of people are having problems with their Windows update and here it's Microsoft. So if you're having problems, I think it's my, yeah. If you're having problems with your Windows update, don't be alarmed because uh, mine started around the 29th. Uh, last update checked was on the 28th, and then that was like it. And then I started getting this error, like error encountered, error encountered. And oh my God, it was one big hot mess. So otherwise this video would have been up earlier. Okay, um, I think the next shade I'm gonna go for is this really pretty, like a mauve shade right here. That is really pretty. move this. You know what? I'm going to also zoom you guys in and we're going to make sure I don't mess it up this time. Because I think the last time I zoomed you guys in and it was like, I realized later, like, whoops, I didn't quite zoom you in right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and dip into that mob shade. You can see some decent pigment, pigment on there. I will tell you one thing I noticed with some of these palettes, which I'm dipping in again just to get a little more color. 
one thing I'm noticing with these kind of palettes that is the shades are more darker than some of the originals because so when I did the born um, born to run palette I noticed some colors were more darker in the one that was supposed to be of a dupe and I had the same thing with the peach palette which I am going to share with you guys. I promised I was going to have it at the end of this month and then things just didn't work out that way because I got this palette and was super excited and I thought, oh my god, i got to share this one because this is a pretty popular palette out there right now. The, well, the Huda Beauty one is. I think I might actually take this shade that's right up here that's a little bit more darker of a mauve shade these do it does have like mauvey plummy tones and from what I'm understanding so does the Huda one. Oh, that one picked up a good bit so not sure was that a shimmer no okay now that's a matte shade I know in the Huda she has like the pearlized and the glitters um, in those palettes. So far they're applying on really nice. If you, okay, and then the slanted side of my brush on the other side there, I'm gonna use this more deeper, like a mulberry shade or something like that. I'm gonna put that a little bit on the edge here, outer edge. And again, as you can see, and again, you can see it's doing pretty good so far. This is an old Mally brush. I kind of like it because it does have that slanted side on this one. It's like one, the one side's like a pencil brush and then the other side's like slant, slanted. Can't say the word. Slanted. I think I'm going to use the glitter glue from Too Faced just to help set a little bit better. I've never used this, but I know it's supposed to help with um, obviously glitter eyeshadows and shimmer ones. I think too it says it can help. Oh yeah, you could feel a more tackiness on that. So I guess that's where it comes in comes in at, huh? I think I'll go ahead and get this pearlescent color that's right here. I'll get this one here. I'm gonna use my fingers. I hear from most, even with the Huda one, that the pearlescent, which there, that's really pretty. I heard is better to use your finger. That's what I'm hearing from many anyway. Oh wow, that's pretty. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on the camera, but that's pretty. actually going to use a glitter shimmer over top of it now. So I I feel like as in looking at it right now, it's pretty. It's not as intense as what I was thinking it might be, but I still think it looks really pretty. It's a pretty color on there. So the uh, glitter eyeshadow I'm going to go ahead and dip into is this one right here more lighter than the other one. There's only two in this one. I'm not sure how hers is. Ooh. Yeah, I can feel the glitter hit my face a little bit, so. But ooh, is that gorge? Ooh, is that gorgeous? You see that? Ooh, that looks so pretty. Oh, I am liking that. Now, if you're not about the glitter, obviously this will not be your palette. 
but I'm digging that. That looks so pretty. I'm going to have to deepen up a little bit on the outer edge. I think I'll use that dark mulberry shade that I used on the outer edge and work it in just a little bit more. But oh my goodness, that is so gorge. So I'm going to just dust off the edges a little bit. Um, oh yeah, I want to do my brow bone area. And then I will be back with my full face done. We'll talk about the palette a little bit more. I'm going to use, I think just the shade I used earlier to brighten it up up there a little bit. The shade, the top shade right here. I'm just going to use this top shade right here. I'm just going to use it on my brow bone area. Just add a little bit more there. Yeah. Oh, that looks so pretty. I didn't, I've obviously finished the other eye because I'm going to do that off camera, but that's pretty. So, yeah, I like that. All right, let's zoom in here real quick. And you guys can see my final look on my eyes. I am in person. I'm not sure how well it's on camera. But in person, it looks really nice. I really like the look a lot. But I'm not sure how well you're seeing it on camera, unfortunately. But in person, oh yeah, it just, it looks beautiful. I am really liking it a lot. And honestly, I don't know if I really see a lot of glitter on my face. Like some, but not like what I was worried about. Obviously, like I said, if you are not about the glitter, definitely this just wouldn't be your palette, but I like playing. So let's go ahead and do some of the swatches on this palette real quick, okay? And I'm going to start from the top row first. We're going we're gonna to start from the top row. It's a little bit chalky, but not too bad. You can see the one on the end here is pretty chalky, but as you blend it out, it's fine. But it is kind of chalky. And there's that pearlized one. So pretty. That's really pretty. Hard to say, see on this from this camera. There's those there. I'm just doing one swatch. Mm, the pinky one. Which one was that? Oh, that was the color that I actually put on my eyelids that I said I was having a little, not so much intense on that one. So for some reason, that one's not showing as intense. Can you see that? I mean, you can see it there, but it's not like that other one. It's not like this one here. This one's showing much better. Let me use my pinky again, because I did use my pinky for that shade. Yeah, it's like you might have to go in it a couple of times. So that's that there. So shades will be here. I can feel the squishiness in those. <laughs> There's those. Glitters are very pretty. I expect it because they are glitter pigment, but they look pretty nice. You know, like once you pat them on and in and all that great jazz. I mean, they're, you know, wow. That, those shades there are pretty nice. 
trying to remember where I was at. I think these are mostly all mats. Maybe a sat mat there too, but there they are. And there's those. I did have a problem with that mauve shade too. Because I told you guys I had to dip in that a couple times. So between that mauve shade and the one I first put on my eyelids, the pearlescent one, um, those two I kind of struggled with. Okay, and then the last ones are these two right here. This is a pearl one and a smallberry shade. Mulberry shade worked out really nice too. Oh, that, that one there looks really nice. I think it's the one that I put on my eyelid that I struggled the most. Ooh, mulberry, look at that one. Yeah, because see, that one shows up really nice. So the only one, the only two uh, several shadows that I struggled with, I need to play with this more, so I can't tell you overall, because I've only gotten this one look so far. I love the look. It turned out great. I feel like they blended nice. Uh, some of them you have to uh, apply a couple times to get them to come out. Now, crazy enough, I wasn't thinking about it. As you guys saw me, I put my glitter glue on my eyes to put on my eyeshadows, which was on this side here but on this side I did not now it looks good still it does look good um, however I still feel like this side looks a little bit better because of the glitter glue so here's my thoughts okay the two shadows that I said I struggled like I told you is this one right here that's a pearlescent one that I did put on my eyelids and then right below it, actually, that mauve shade, this light mauve shade. It's really pretty in here, but it is very, um, you know, very light. So with those, I had to apply a couple times to kind of get the pigmentation I wanted. So they're not extremely pigmented. I would say I had to do it maybe twice, maybe three times, especially with the, um, the pearlescent sh shadow. I do feel you definitely have to have now I'm not sure because I'm not I'm not very familiar and all that well known into the glitter pigments I would imagine anyway regardless um, you would need the glitter glue I know NYX makes one NYX makes one Too Faced that's one I used I had a, a deluxe sample of it they make one there could be other ones out there I know some people like the next one and that's a pretty affordable one so if you don't want to I'm not sure how much the Too Faced one is but it's probably more expensive than NYX um, but I do feel like you probably would have to apply the glitter glue. Looks great. I give it a thumbs up, totally. I think it's well worth it. I mean, it is $13, so you're going to get what you pay for, basically, as they say. And I don't think it's really bad. I mean, I've had some that were really, really, you know, like, pretty bad. I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it a lot. I'm not disappointed that I purchased it or anything like that. So if you actually wanted to get the Huda... Uh, beauty nudes palette and maybe you don't want to spend that price maybe you can't spend that price what for whatever reason um here you go all right guys thanks so much for joining me i really appreciate that don't forget to sell for drawer cosmetics that starts at 9 a.m pacific time that's 12 p.m eastern time i will have everything down below so you guys can go and check it out and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate that if you did like this video and, and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button that's down below as well as the bell. The bell will notify you of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. You'll get an email once they're up and ready and running. And that way we can keep connected. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.